So here's my review on the early wood spatula. I was looking for a wooden spoon that could scrape up fond off of my dishes after I cook. You know, you that browns up, scrape that good stuff off, put a little water, makes a nice flavor, bust it out. I was tired of spoons not having the surface area like this, that flat edge like that. And it just really hits it perfect right on the edge. So I just wanted to show a few things that I enjoy about this. I know this is nonstick, but I've used it cooking in this and it scrapes it up good. So let me just show you how to do eggs real quick because everyone's gonna cook eggs on this. And I just so happen to have a square pot or a pan. So it works really good on this. Get a little of that. And you would think cooking eggs could never be so easy. Keeps it all, flip it a little bit. See how it just boom, boom, boom. Every angle you could want, slap it with that, boom. And you can bring everything back. So I really love this thing. You can just literally get all the bits, all the crannies, all the nooks. The scooping part I'm not very good at but it's a there's a learning curve there you go but besides all that i mean look i just cook the eggs in like a second but that's not the point the point i don't care if it can scoop good if it can scrape good and keep everything where i need it to be that's the, that's the key that makes this thing bomb. And that's exactly why I wanted it. I needed something that wasn't gonna scratch non-stick surfaces whenever I'm really trying to get in there and just get all the goodies out. This will never scratch this, which is a humongous plus. I don't care if it can scoop. I saw someone talking about the Instant Pot. They said it wasn't long enough. This is the normal size. This is a six quart Instant Pot that only gets um, two quarts bigger than this. So, I mean, look at that, I got, I've got a good this much, what is that, two, three inches atop. I know sometimes when the Instant Pot, like you first open it, no, you can't just put your hand in and start stirring. There's a bunch of steam coming up. You couldn't do that with a normal spoon. So I don't see why that would be an argument, but I come in here with the Instant Pot and I just whoosh, 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 stir it around. Good. The one thing, it maybe doesn't get the corners as perfect, but the thing is, I usually don't have a bunch of stuff in the corners. And if I do, I was literally just going through like this and going in a circle and it was just scraping it just got it up as much as I need it. So as far as a scraping tool, I wanted something metal. I mean, I wanted something wood that was not gonna be metal and not scrape everything up and break everything. And I think that the amount of thickness that this thing has, it's just perfect enough to last a little while and also give it the boom. If I really need to like put a bunch of force down, it doesn't feel like it's gonna like snap or anything. Also, some people were saying the wood was kind of a, uh, not 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 smooth enough i don't know i mean it's it's smooth to me it's not like glossy smooth but i mean it's smooth and i can imagine the more i hold it the more i wear it the more steam gets on it the more oils that penetrate it it's just going to get smoother over time so for 20 bucks for what i wanted a good scraper that was flat and large enough for me to get all the fond up i'm digging it so anyway that's a little Showing y'all a couple things.